Well, good morning, YouTube. So we're back, and we are on our way to... Pensburg. Pensburg. Harry's, you, Harry's pull you pull it. Why? There's a Comanche. Because they have a Comanche. But first, before that, we have... We are at a place called... What is Serafina's Cafe? Serafina. So we're going to try that. We're going to try a little breakfast. Take a tour of the yard. <laughs> All right, well, we've made it. Breakfast was excellent, right? Mm -hmm. Serafina's in uh, Bridgeton, Bridge something. Well, here it is, Pensburg, Harry's you pull it. We are looking for a Comanche. Comanche that happens to be here. I need some commander parts, but we're here mostly for this Comanche. It's about an hour and a half drive from where we are, so. Totally worth it. I think, the trip's be up and down. I think we should start from the back and work our way down the hill. Anyway, so that's what we're gonna do. A couple of highlights from today. We'll shoot some video. Come along, enjoy the adventure. Ladies and gentlemen, we have found our first commander, and what we need from this commander, very simply, is this guy up here. Plus the pigtail. I heard that these are fun to grab. But for right now, let's get this out. Cut the pigtail off because we need all of it. Alright, took the two screws out. Cut the, cut the connector off the back. Be careful when taking it out. This hose likes to come loose. And then snap the end off. And they don't come on aftermarket. Look at this. This is actually in great shape. This might be the one we need. Moving on, because we hear there's another commander in the yard, right? Mm -hmm. Cool. And what did we find, ladies and gentlemen? We found it! This is an 87 Comanche. Oh, Look off. at that. We, we already took the grill. We, we, I'm sorry. We should have filmed it, but we got all excited and squeed when we came up to it. <laughs> and uh, we started pulling parts off now. Hey. Brandon, I'm going to ask. Hold on, no, 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 not yet. Not yet. Let's not spoil. But do you want to try to take these? Are we able to take the header panel? I don't think the header panel is easy. Oh, and it looks like it's got a it looks like it's got a, a wallop right here. But the reason why this thing's why here, and this is the saddest part, is the reason why this is here, because it is well, <sighs> yeah, yeah. It looks like maybe a tree. I'm gonna agree with the tree. Which kind of kills us. That and I need the mirrors. Considering that the mirrors and the Are seats, both mirrors there? we can. We can still pull the badge. <laughs> Put your gloves on. Yeah, even the bed has had a bad day. And this had the vent windows. But we are going to pull as much as we can off of this. I've already gotten Commander Tail Light, which you guys saw a few seconds ago. Most importantly though, this is this is the key. When you get these Renix 4 liters, you need this stupid so I just grabbed the whole map sensor. So this is a map sensor. But more importantly, this hose that connects here plugs into the side of the throttle body. And usually they're brittle and they fall apart. They are impossible to purchase. You can't buy them anymore. And you have to make them. And to make them is even harder than to just come to this yard and boom. That's probably like $5 and saves me so much trouble. What can we do with the inside of this? Oh, man. I feel like we'd be leaving too much behind. Oh. But there's not a lot we can salvage. Yeah, if we could get in here, we could get this dash assembly apart. I see tack. But it's still auto tack, not manual tack. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Tack is tack. Tack is driven easily. It's tack. Tack's in there. Comes off ignition. And the door cards are in decent shape. It's tan, which I'm not so crazy about. There you go. Oh, yeah, boy. Open it. Oh, All right, so I'm gonna help him because we're gonna go take these doors apart and get all the pieces we need. We'll be back. It's for my Jeep. Your Jeep? Yes. Because don't forget, mine's the Pioneer Edition. Ah, oh, your, your Jeep. Which Jeep is that? You have a you have a Pioneer Jeep? What do you have? Because I have a Comanche. Shut up. 
What are you trying? Are you trying to get the seat? I'm trying to see if there's anything. Well, grab the door card first. What are you doing? You're... Looking. Yeah, no, no. Let's work. Scouring. Come on. Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. Pay attention. Work smart. Bottom. Get the screws out. Let's the get bottom. that door off. Screws are out on the bottom. Okay. Now get now get the handle screws. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in a first for us, we actually had to come back to the vehicle to unload so we can go back and make sure your hand stamp is still. Uh, can you see your hand stamp? Yeah, it's. Oh, look at mine. Mine's all like. <sighs> it's there, but barely. So, as you can see, we grabbed the eight-bar grill. Some of the kick panel plastics. I got a third brake light. Obviously, I'm going to talk about that again. You guys are like, Adam, we know we saw. Nest in this. Uh, we grabbed the hornet's nest to go with, uh, go with that's a kick panel for the Comanche. Some door handle grabs because there is no door handles or door panels inside ours. They're there. They're just not. Some Those plastics are in better shape. I don't think we have plastics, but if we do, those are better anyway. Here's and then, de la Crema. yeah, grab handles. So happy. What do you mean I almost left it? That was on the ground in front of the page. I would have been upset about that. So you you saved my life, man. Thanks. Pile of stuff. Wrench roll, by the way, Amazon. This is, this is so cool. Rugged tools, wrench roll. Link in the description below. Not that I'm an affiliate, but this thing was amazing so far. Hey. Yep, got some nice door this. handles. Here. Yeah, no, and now it's broken. We put it in the bucket and it snapped, but it's still there. It still will allow the Comanche to run well. Yeah, that's just, you sleeve that, that's it. No big deal. I'm literally, that's uh, going up front. Keep it safe. We'll show you all how that goes back together in a future episode when we get that thing running nicely. And, oh yeah, those door cards, let's see them. Door cards. Show them off. A little wrecked on the inside. Uh, we'll just remove the cardboard from them. They get, they get wet. They get wet, they get wrecked. So we'll cut out the bad stuff. Yeah, again, so these, out these pull things. out and people put screws in, but whatever, they're still better than nothing. The leathers are good. That's what matters. Well, you can't really re-cardboard them, but I'm not really that concerned. That, really that panel's in great shape. Yeah. It's even got the factory mark on it, see? The yep. Oh. That one was in really good shape. And then a couple of extra handles and grabs and bips and bobs. But I yeah. think we got to go these back in. So I don't have these inside the truck right now. All right, cool. Let's go. We're going to go back in. We're going to check it out. More to grab. All right, so we're in the yard again. And yeah, we spy. We spy. This is a Ram Charger. Let's see. I like the purple. I, blue. I don't know what it is. I would say it's blue. I don't know that purple is one of their fancy Look colors. 1985 Dodge oh, Ram Charger. Oh wow! She's had some. She's had some repair, right? That's a little professional. Look at that professional uh, body work. What we got? Let's look inside. Let me get in there. It's a Manuel too. No, it isn't. Oh, that's four wheel drive. That's a four wheel drive lever. You have to reach over to your passenger and tell them to put it in four wheel drive for you. Oh, she's been stripped down. There's a good bench seat. Yep. front seat. Nice. Let's see what it's powered by. I'm going to say 318. What do you think? 85, 318? I don't know. I, that looks like an 18. They look the same as Brent. Well, Small. maybe that shows up. I don't know. Those headers are crusty. Yeah, it's a crusty vehicle. That's awesome. Let's move on through the yard and see what else we can find. What do we got here? What's it say on the sticker since I don't know my old cars? What year? 40? 41? Uh, 48 Fleetwood. 48 Fleetwood. Cadillac. Look at that motor. Is that a street? Is that a street? Street don't 6. Don't open that. I don't intend, Don. Whoa. She's a butte! It's a butte, Clark! It's a butte! Happy accident. Hit it. Ready? You all are going in. I'm staying out here. Oh no, this won't fit. <laughs> I wish you were up here. <laughs> I tapped on the fender and the crew fell off. You know it's my head! <laughs> I went like this and I went. 
pot metal. And that's why it broke so easy. They made out of pewter. Look at that firewall. This thing is a gem. But I think it's uh I don't I don't think it's a survivor at this point. Oh not a Cadillac. It is a Chevy. I'm a I'm a little dumb when it comes to old cars. I have no clue. When it comes to rust. Wow. She's she's a piece. But she's definitely not a ripper. You wanna go in? Right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a former Gloria Z28. Look at her. Oh wow. She still has the badge. So beautiful. And if you look, look at that. Huh. OptiSpark. Wow. Well, I'll tell you what, this thing was set up. Well. It's got some two-tone paint back here. It's got those headlights. Look at those headlights. Those are ridiculous headlights. If I had fish water, I'd take that my bed. So sad. Brad's been looking for a 300 grill so he can modify it to fit his 300, which has a... I'm not going to knock the aftermarket grill it has, but I'm going to say that... Uh, it's a little campy. It's a little campy. So what people do, there's a special grill out there called the Grip GT6 7001. It is literally horizontal bars. So what people do on these is they cut out the center supports, they bond well, them, and they paint it... Get your Phillips head screwdriver out and undo the six screws to hold that in. Five, seven, seven, eight, nine. Whatever. Undo all the screws to hold that in. A large amount of screws. All right. I think we're, we're doing good so far. I think we got a lot off our list, huh? Oh, absolutely. All right. I'm gonna, we're going we're gonna to skip to when he's all done with that. Ladies and gentlemen, check this out. It's a beautiful Buick Riata. 3800 V6. But it's this coupe design. What year is this bad, Larry? 1991. Wow. What a, what a car. True two-seater. You get these little spots in the back where you put bad kids. But Buick two-seater coupe. Very interesting. Not... A rocket ship look at the size of them teeny ass rotors not a rocket ship by any means but buick touring and that top wasn't even removable that car would have been beautiful with a removable top i'm not sure if they came out with them i'm gonna look that up and see if i could put a picture in if it exists which probably doesn't i probably have that at the bottom of the screen right now we <laughs> he got all done taking that grill apart and we found a better one so he's now working on Taking that one apart over there. How you doing? Better? Uh, I still have one screw stuck. Oh. Well, if not, you got a third chance. So honestly, if it comes out, I should just pull the head. It shouldn't pull anything else. Well, you gotta just pull it here. Here's what you do. See these tabs? Yeah. We gotta push these tabs through. So what it need what I'm gonna tell you to do is get get a cutter in there and clip and clip and clip. What? Clip the clip the urethane. So there's no tension. And we had to do it down and dirty today with the cell phone because I didn't bring the GoPro. And sometimes, you know, your phone is your better camera. I'm not an iPhone guy, but close enough, right? You can't film yourself when you're I trying to... that Mustang. Oh Mustangs. It ain't nothing special. Ain't nothing special. Fast and the slightly upset. Fast and the Fast and the perturbed. Fast and the curbiest. It's got a uh, clock in the center console. What do you say? I'm going to make a bet. That's not right. I'm going to say V6. What do you think? Oh, she's wedgied. Give me the pry bar. This is almost worth popping open to see. Could be supercharged. Oh, Hercules, 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 Hercules. Oh, and what and what do we find? What did I say? 4.6 or V6? V6. Uh, 3.8 liters of... Uh. Yeah, they are. But for you, uh, you Jeep people out there, you YJ people like me, um, this 60-40 split cinch out of this... Oh, oh, do not enter. Denied. 
this 60-40 split bench, can you access it from that door? Yeah, oh, I'm coming over there. Open. It's fine. We shoot videos on the scene, man. We are we are people on the on we are on location, ladies and gentlemen. I'm on location. I'm mobile mobile jump chair. 60 40 split bench fits wonderfully in the center of a YJ. So, are in terrible condition. Uh, we're ready if it rains. Junkyard couch. Last time we were here, oh uh, no, it was, sorry, we were at the other one, which you might see that video after this one. You were on, what is that, Allentown? Uh, that was when we were in West Hazleton. It rained like the Dickens. Oh yeah, that's because we went off to the left. We didn't hit that area last time. This is a and we're in the different one. This is different. But you'll see that video after this one because I shot that one and I never edited it because I'm lazy. Edited it, did it. Anyway, let's move on through. We're almost done with the, uh, almost done with this yard. Yeah. All right, so we were walking by this one and I, I kind of looked and I was like, man, this thing took a hit, you know. Good Lord. That went into something fast. But that's not the worst part. The worst part is when you come in here because I didn't even really realize the damage the in the front problem. holy cow one no airbag deployment oh my gosh good point no airbag deployment which means the system may have not been energized at the time but that steering wheel I mean if a human body pushed that steering wheel and my god which I can only assume it did since there had to be something in this front seat to push that forward all right, ladies and gentlemen, following in the footsteps of Dee Dee in the garage, a fellow Jersey guy, uh, I pulled the tow hooks off this thing, and I'm working on this one. The nose got in the way, so I just ripped it off. It's kind of fun to let out a little aggression in the uh, in the tow yard, and honestly, I'm taking most of the good parts of this, so any of you that would be like, oh, well, somebody else could use that nose, it's already cracked up pretty good. So we're going to pull these out. Remember to grab these nuts, these capture nuts. They are inserted from the back but they are kind of important I can get them in through here but they're really cool because that's how you that's how you get these in to tighten up they got this little i'm gonna squeeze that and pop up through i'm gonna get this apart and i'll come back when we're done all right ladies and gentlemen we are done having cleaned out harry's i got a nice dark charcoal gray dash pad i think mine's a light charcoal gray so the two-tone Plus, all the vents are in good shape on this, and mine aren't. I got an Overland Edition grill, which has the barbed wire look in the center, which I think looks amazing. Um, we'll have to maybe give that the same treatment that ours has. Uh, you know, that we, if you don't, I got a video for that right here for where we changed our grill over to a bed liner. But I think this is a great uh, option. And then, ladies and gentlemen, sneak peek real quick. This gentleman over here is clearing out the back of his vehicle so he can put that motor into the trunk of that car. I kid you not, ladies and gentlemen, my man's about to put an engine into the back of that car. This is crazy. Oh, I can't. This is painful. This is really happening, ladies and gentlemen, on camera. I can't. I, I, I don't want to get too close and seem like I'm... No. This is a whole level of uh, unbelievable redneck ingenuity here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I have never seen anything like this. This definitely... That's a nice car. That's a nice car. He's ruining the back of that car. They're going to hit one bump. That motor's going to destroy whatever they got in It's all aluminum. Oh, well. It is what it is. Where there's a will, there's a way. Yeah, man. I had to, I had to see this. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> 
Holy cow. Well, that's it. That thing's gonna end up food bar. All right, well, anything to say to the audience before uh, we hit the road? Drink your milk, tell your mom you love her, and uh, don't be afraid to do burnouts. And what do we want? Everybody to subscribe? Like, subscribe, um, share, hit the honestly, button. Come on, come us, on. No, 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 no. Give us constructive criticism. What can we do better? What do we absolutely suck at? Very good. Thanks a lot, everyone. We'll see you next time. Peace.